Hi, my name's Jeremy Gilley. I'm the founder of Peace One Day. You're about to watch a film which tells the story of Peace One Day's history over the last 10 years, so I hope you enjoy it. But first, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a happy 60th birthday. CISV has been a great supporter of Peace Day, and it's that support that has inspired us to do the work that we're doing. So thank you so much for being supporters of the only day of peace our world has. Enjoy the film, have a great day, and thank you once again for all your support. My name's Jeremy Gilley. I'm an independent documentary filmmaker. As I was growing up, all around me were scenes of aggression, war, and hate. I couldn't understand why we just can't get along. The more violence I saw, the more frustrated I felt about not being able to do anything about it. But I wanted to try. In July 1998, I decided to make a film about peace. Then I realized there was no day of peace. That was it. I was going to try and establish the first ever annual peace day. A day of global ceasefire and non-violence. A day for everyone to become involved in the peace process. If I failed, the film could make a profound statement about a world unwilling to change. If I succeeded, well, that was almost inconceivable. I travelled the world to build and document a case for the day's existence. The day could be the beginning of a deeper process. It has the practical uh, impact of allowing access of humanitarian aid, access of information, uh, freedom of movement, uh, relief from the pressure and tension of not knowing where the next bomb or bullet may come from. That to me is um, uh, an idea whose time has come. Through time, I think it will become more and more effective. What do you think? To come to 100%, you need a lot of time. Yes. But I think the great thing is at least we've done something for the next generation. Yes. If there is a cessation for a day, then it gives us an opportunity to move supplies safely through places that are otherwise difficult. This is my suggestion. When you go around the world and like find a group of people who like who do what you do but in their country yeah. and go to another country and do the same thing so it yeah. make your thing more powerful. Yeah. How old are you? 16. So you're about to leave school soon? Yeah. Will you do it for me? <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Any moment, whether it's a day or a week, that we can give the combatants to pause, to think and reflect on what they are doing to their own people and to the environment will be a great achievement, and I will support it 100%. The United Kingdom and Costa Rican governments have now joined together... I think the important thing is to keep talking about it and keep trying, you know? I'll stay with you. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But I think it's very, very important, and I am really, really proud. The need for such an enhanced approach was originally brought to our attention by a UK-based non-governmental organisation, Peace One Day. This is a step forward in international relations. Be observed as a global ceasefire day. Let's stand up on September 21st, let's say that we want peace, and let's begin. To make peace a reality throughout the world, 365 days a year. Thank you, Mr. President. May I take it that the Assembly decides to adopt that resolution? It is so decided. Well, you know those things that you have in court that you whack? They whack one of them. A peace day has been adopted by every member state of the United Nations. An annual day, separate from politics and religion. A day when every human being on Earth can become involved in the peace process. And that's what's important. Every human being. Because if you can find it in yourself to do something for Peace Day, September 21st, no matter how big or small, then together we can create a day of global unity. And that unity will save lives. Oh,
We've been working for years with United Nations agencies and humanitarian organizations to document life-saving activity on the day, and it's been a huge success. Now with these peace days, we have an opportunity building more every year on every year. It's not a pipe dream, it's a reality. 1.4 million children vaccinated in Afghanistan during the peace days last year, and this year we hope is going to be 1.8 million. What happened was historical, was magnificent. The Taliban came out with a statement saying they're not going to harm any vaccination teams. If it can happen once, it can happen again and again and again. All over Afghanistan, there have been 82 separate peace day initiatives. So you see, the day is working. So the challenge now is to let the people know that peace day exists. We decided that creating an education resource had to become one of our main priorities. After a year and a half of work, the Peace One Day Citizenship Resource Pack was completed and last year was given free to 92% of UK secondary schools. This year, with the support of Ben and & Jerry's and Scholastic, it will be given free to the schools of America. Every time we fight, I it's not right. Every time that you're upset and I smile, I know I should forget. It's our intention to give the Peace One Day education resource to every school on the planet. I said to them what you've done and that we would very much welcome the special resource for the schools in Afghanistan. And our work with young people is growing in fantastic ways all the time. One day, one go. I'm ready to play. We teamed up with Puma and created the One Day, One Goal football campaign to see matches played all over the world on peace day. From a conflict zone in the Ivory Coast to an indoor shopping centre in Tokyo to the match I played this afternoon at White Hart Lane, I am delighted to announce that there have been football matches played in honour of peace day in 180 countries around the world. Instead of kicking ass, let's kick the ball on September 21st. Will you play? Over 100 million people in over 100 countries are marking the day today in many different ways. But we're still at the beginning, and now we need your help. Please make your commitment to the day, because each and every one of our commitments makes a difference. By making your own commitment to Peace Day and logging it on our website, you will inspire others to do the same. As commitments grow, so the message will spread until everyone becomes aware of the day. The idea of having a peace day where we can allow barriers to come down, allow people to get in with much needed aid and medical supplies, is a fantastic idea that I support wholeheartedly. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if anything's achievable until you actually try it. We will not stop until we've informed every human being on the planet that peace day exists. It's up to our generation to build the foundation for a united world. And it'll grow, it'll really grow if you get behind it. So please, mark Peace Day, 21st of September, and lives will be saved. We're gonna have peace one day. You believe it. It's our moral responsibility. We are human beings. We have the responsibility. Uh, to, to show right path. So, I fully support. What will you do to make peace on the 21st of September? Peace.